Demystifying Glock Generations A deep dive for the discerning gun owner Glock pistols have dominated the firearms market for decades, renowned for their reliability, simplicity, and versatility. But with multiple generations in circulation, confusion can arise regarding the real differences between them. Fear not, discerning gun owners. This guide peels back the layers, unveiling the key distinctions between Glock generations and empowering you to make informed decisions. Number 1. Glock Gen 1, 1982-1988 The Genesis The Glock Gen 1, introduced in 1982, marked a revolutionary shift in pistol design. This pioneering generation embraced a lightweight polymer frame, a departure from the traditional metal frames prevalent at the time. This innovative approach offered several advantages. Reduced weight. The polymer frame significantly reduced the pistol's overall weight, making it more comfortable to carry for extended periods. Enhanced corrosion resistance. Polymer is inherently resistant to corrosion, a significant advantage in harsh environments. Improved ergonomics. The frame's design offered a comfortable grip for various hand sizes. Despite its groundbreaking features, the Gen 1 lacked some functionalities that became standard in later generations. These included No finger grooves. The grip lacked the finger grooves found on subsequent generations, which some users find enhanced control. No accessory rail. Mounting tactical accessories like lights or lasers wasn't possible on the Gen 1 frame. While some collectors cherish the historical significance of the Gen 1, its lack of certain features makes later generations more practical choices for most modern shooters. Number 2. Glock Gen 2, 1988-1997 Refinement and Evolution The Glock Gen 2, introduced in 1988, addressed some of the limitations of the Gen 1 while retaining its core strengths. Here's a breakdown of the key refinements. Enhanced Grip Texture The Gen 2 introduced a more checkered grip texture for improved purchase and control during firing. Caliber Expansion Glock introduced new calibers like the 357 SOG and 40 s and Dao, catering to a wider range of user preferences. Internal Safety Upgrades While Gen 1 pistols possessed a single internal safety mechanism, Gen 2 incorporated additional passive safeties for increased user safety. The Gen 2 remained a reliable and popular choice for both law enforcement and civilian shooters. However, some limitations compared to later generations persisted. No accessory rail. Similar to Gen 1, the Gen 2 lacked an accessory rail for mounting tactical lights or lasers. Limited caliber options. While Gen 2 offered more calibers than Gen 1, it still didn't encompass the full range available in later generations. The Glock Gen 2 represents a significant step forward from the Gen 1, offering improved ergonomics and safety features. However, the lack of an accessory rail might be a consideration for some modern shooters. Number 3. Glock Gen 3, 1998-2009 The Golden Age of Glock The Glock Gen 3, introduced in 1998, is widely considered the Golden Age of Glock. It incorporated the core strengths of previous generations while introducing features that cemented Glock's dominance in the firearms market. Here are the key advancements. Accessory Rail the introduction of the accessory rail on the Gen 3 frame allowed for the seamless attachment of lights, lasers, and other tactical accessories, increasing versatility. Finger Grooves The Gen 3 introduced finger grooves on the grip, which some users find enhanced purchase and control, particularly during rapid firing. Increased Caliber Options The Gen 3 offered the widest range of calibers up to that point catering to diverse shooting applications from concealed carry to hunting. The Gen 3 became a phenomenal success due to its enhanced functionality. The addition of the accessory rail and a wider caliber selection significantly boosted the pistol's adaptability. Proven Reliability Glock's reputation for reliability remained unwavering, solidifying trust among users. While the Gen 3 revolutionized the Glock pistol, some minor drawbacks exist. Bulkier Frame the addition of finger grooves and a slightly thicker grip frame compared to Gen 1 and 2 might not suit all hand sizes. The Glock Gen 3 remains an exceptional choice for many shooters due to its perfect blend of functionality, reliability, and caliber options. Number 4. Glock Gen 4 2010-2016 Embracing Modernity The Glock Gen 4, introduced in 2010, incorporated features geared towards a more modern approach to firearms. Modular Backstraps the Gen 4 introduced interchangeable backstraps, allowing users to customize the grip size to better fit their hand. 
double recoil spring system. This system aimed to reduce perceived recoil, potentially leading to faster follow-up shots. Rough textured finish. The Gen 4 introduced a rougher textured finish on the grip for enhanced purchase, especially in wet or sweaty conditions. While these features appealed to some shooters, the Gen 4 also faced some criticisms. Increased complexity. The modular backstraps and double recoil spring system added complexity to the disassembly process compared to previous generations. Recoil spring issues. Some users reported issues with the double recoil spring system, leading Glock to offer replacement single springs for some models. The Gen 4 offered advancements in grip customization and recoil reduction, but the added complexity and potential reliability concerns deterred some users. Number 5. Glock Gen 5 2017 Present Refinement and Rethinking The Glock Gen 5, introduced in 2017, marked a return to a focus on core functionality while incorporating some user-requested features. Smooth Grip Texture The Gen 5 reverted to a smoother grip texture, addressing concerns about the overly aggressive texture on the Gen 4 for some users. Flared Magwell The introduction of a flared magwell on the Gen 5 frame facilitated faster magazine changes. Ambidextrous Slide Stop This feature catered to left-handed shooters and those who prefer manipulating the slide stop with their support hand. The Gen 5 addressed some limitations of the Gen 4 while maintaining core strengths. Improved ergonomics. The return to a smoother grip texture and the addition of the flared mag well enhanced ergonomics for many users. Proven reliability. Glock maintained its focus on reliability, ensuring the Gen 5 upholds the brand's reputation. The Gen 5 represents a refinement of the Glock pistol, offering a balance between user-requested features and core functionality. Choosing the right Glock generation for you. The ideal Glock generation depends on your individual needs and preferences. Here's a quick breakdown to guide you. Value and simplicity. For those prioritizing affordability and a proven design, the Glock Gen 3 remains an excellent choice. Customization and modern features. If modularity and features like interchangeable backstraps appeal to you, the Glock Gen 4 might be a good fit. Be aware of potential reliability concerns. Balance and refinement. For a balance of functionality, ergonomics, and modern features with a focus on proven reliability, the Glock Gen 5 is a compelling option. Remember, the best way to determine the right Glock generation for you is to handle and test fire different models at a reputable shooting range. Nuances within generations It's important to note that within each Glock generation, there can be variations between models. For instance, the Glock 19 Gen 3, a highly popular concealed carry option, features a slightly different grip profile compared to the Glock 17 Gen 3, a full-size pistol. Always research the specific model you're interested in to understand its unique characteristics. Beyond generations, additional considerations. While generations provide a general framework, other factors influence your Glock selection. Here are some additional considerations. Caliber. Glock pistols come in a wide range of calibers, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. Consider factors like intended use, concealed carry, target shooting, home defense, and recoil management when choosing your caliber. Sights. Factory sights on some of the Glock models might be adequate for basic use, but many shooters prefer to upgrade to aftermarket sights for improved visibility and target acquisition. Triggers. The standard Glock trigger can be described as utilitarian. The trigger modifications or aftermarket triggers can improve the feel and performance for some users. The importance of professional guidance. While this guide provides valuable information, consulting a qualified firearms instructor is crucial. They can assess your individual needs, skill level, and hand size to recommend the most suitable Glock model for you. They can also provide essential training on safe handling, operation, and marksmanship. Remember, responsible gun ownership is paramount. Treat the firearms with respect prioritize safety above all else, and invest in proper training to ensure your enjoyment and responsible use of your Glock pistol. Empower yourself with knowledge. We hope this deep dive into Glock generations has empowered you to make informed decisions. The firearm ownership comes with immense responsibility. Always prioritize safety, complete proper training, and familiarize yourself with local laws and regulations before carrying a firearm. Stay tuned for more in-depth explorations of firearms and responsible gun ownership. Subscribe to our channel and unlock a wealth of knowledge to elevate your shooting experience.